Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to talk about the best engineering courses. So, let's get started. Okay, so um, for those of you who haven't majored in engineering or haven't pursued an engineering degree yet and are thinking about doing it, but aren't sure about like the engineering courses or kind of feel intimidated by their titles and by their names, um, well, I just want to say that I can understand that because I was in the same situation um, when I had just graduated from high school. I knew that I wanted to major in computer engineering, um, but I just was very intimidated by the different, you know, topics. I would look into the, like, the next semester and see what classes I needed to take and I was like, oh no, I'll probably fail or I won't understand the material. But it turns out that some of these engineering courses actually ended up not being too bad. And yes, they were difficult, but they were ones that I thought personally for me were the best and the ones that I found the most interest in and ended up being the, you know, quote unquote, uh, easier engineering courses and I kind of enjoyed some of them so I'm just gonna go over which ones those are and again this is just based on me my personality what I find interesting and what I like to do so the very first engineering course that I find to be the easiest or the best is programming and I know it's not you know exactly an engineering course but I do know that computer engineering and electrical engineering students as well as even computer science students have to take intro to programming that's when i first really found interest in this because i'm like oh that's actually pretty cool i like that um, and i just wanted to do more in that area and because of that you know i took intermediate programming which was geared more towards software engineering um, so that is where it deviates but even then all engineers most engineers have to take an intro to programming course and the reason why I like it is because yes it could be very frustrating to build a code or to get it to work and run but once you do it's very very satisfying and it's worth all of the hours you put into building like that short little script so it's it's just worth it and it's very rewarding and it also gets your brain um, active you, you do calculations or you think about okay well, why isn't it working this way conceptually? What's going on with my program? Um, so again, it, it really gets your mind active and it, it distracts you. It's a very, very good distraction. You can focus on programming and you, can, you know that you can just figure out what's going on with this program and um, work you know, from there. And then the next one is Advanced Mathematics for Engineers. And this class had a lot of you know, it's a very vague topic, but what happened in this class was I learned about differential equations um, and I, I think other concepts, but the reason why I liked it so much is because it was similar to algebra. It reminded me of algebra and I really like doing algebra type work. So because of that, I, you know, found it to be not easier. It was actually one of the more difficult courses, but it wasn't as painful and I wasn't like lost. Like when I actually thought about it, I could figure out the problem and it made it easier for me to study for tests and do the homeworks and know that, okay, I understand what's going on. Um, other classes like, I don't know, circuits or something, I just never understood what was going on. So yeah, I, I got right answers and stuff, but mm, that material just went right over my head. So that was a horrible class. That's actually the one of the worst ones. So just FYI. But that's the second one. The third one for me is networks. I like networks and I think this is because of the professor. The professor could either make or break a, a course. They could make it you know, seem very interesting and fun while others could you know, make it feel like you wanna pull your hair out or fall asleep. So it's one of the two, but with networks, it, it could be very boring if you're just, if you have a bad professor, but luckily the professor I had was very outspoken, had a huge personality, very forward as well. She would challenge you if you were to ask a question and she you know, made sure that you understood the very basic fundamental part of networks and she would you know, reiterate it over and over again. She was able to teach us the material in a very simple and easy way. And again, I know this isn't an engineering course like programming, but if you are a computer engineer and you want to major in software engineering or go in the software track, you will be taking networks. It's kind of inevitable. You have to know that, especially when you're dealing with computers, you would need to take some sort of network class. So number four would probably be software engineering. And I took this my senior year, first semester. 
And the reason why I like this is it's similar to networks. It depends on the professor. And luckily I had a really, really good professor. He was uh, very, very straightforward again, like the other one. And he kind of dumbed things down for us, so to speak, so that we could better understand the material. And he was also very lax about like turning in homework assignments. We were able to turn it in. And then if we were to get something wrong, we could always fix the problem that we had and he'll give us partial credit for that. Uh, so that was actually really great that he was able and willing to regrade our work and regrade our homework and regrade our projects. Um, and he was also very lax about tests too. Um, if we just explained what we were thinking, we were more likely than not going to get seven out of 10 points if we got that question wrong, as long as we explained how we got to that solution. Um, so he was just a very understanding professor and because of that, he made the class much easier to pass. And the last engineering course I liked was Calculus 3. And the reason why is because uh, Calculus 3 is basically Calculus 2, but with the third dimension. Adding an extra dimension, which is XYZ, adding that extra dimension might be a little bit more difficult, but they're all the same formulas, it's the same material, so it's not like you have to learn a completely new subject. And that's what makes it easier than other engineering courses. It does build on itself, so if you don't know Calc 1 and 2, well, you're kind of screwed, and Calc 3 will be painful and very stressful. But if you know Calc 1 and 2 and you have all that material under your belt, uh, Calc 3 shouldn't be that, that difficult. And here are the top five of my favorite engineering courses that I took when I was majoring in computer engineering. It's personal preference. You may not think that you know programming is very easy or that you like it, but you know, uh, you might find circuits is actually really fun or signals and systems. Um, personally for me, those are the two worst, but you know, it's again, personal preference and yeah. I hope you guys found this video informative in some way or at the very least, you know, entertaining. Um, and if you did, please like the video and if you want to see more videos similar to this, uh, please hit the subscribe button and yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.